All right, everybody. It's Thursday, August 9th. It's about a quarter after noon, quarter after 12. Um, made a little bit of an impromptu decision this morning. This is some added hay ground. I'm gonna base this on about 10 or 11 acres. This has been pasture land. I don't think this has been cut for hay for probably two or three years. Somewhere's around there. I'll explain this to you in one second here. So, last night I picked up those three, uh, three heifers. Uh, I'm about a mile and a half away from home, just down the road. Good friends, good family, neighbors here. Um, he and his wife are basically making moves towards their retirement. They both have pretty good jobs outside the home. And uh, they've had cattle. In fact, I think they've had up to about a 50 head herd of uh, a cow-calf operation through the years. So anyway, I was here last night loading cattle, and uh, he goes, Ben, is there any part of you that uh, wants to mow down that pasture system? He goes, take it. He goes, if, if you want it, take it. I could use it clean cut, you know, start from scratch again, because he's still going to have, uh, he's still going to have some animals throughout the rest of the summer, fall, and then this winter. He goes, you're, you're doing me a favor if I'm doing you a favor. You know, I'd like it, like it cut clean and a fresh regrowth. But like I said, it's been a couple of years. Well, I picked the wrong time to be making this video, didn't I? I'm towards the end here and things are getting a little complicated. So... I didn't give him an answer last night. We concentrated. We just concentrated on moving cattle and everything. I'm like, oh, I'm going to think about it. I'll, I'll let you know sooner than later. You know. And uh, I thought about it this morning. And, you know, I was going to go cut some hay down anyway this morning. But some very premature growth. And I thought about it and I started putting a mental pencil. Try and figure that one out. A mental pencil to what we have for dry hay. What have what have we made? What was left over, and what's yet to come? And I got to be honest with you, we're safe. But uh, I'm going to call this some insurance property here, some insurance hay. I, I got to tell you, without being rude, the the quality the quality is just not here. You know, this is older pasture land. The quality's not here, but I, I got to tell you, there's some very darn nice spots in here. I'm going after quantity. So, my famous wording is I'm making very good February hay. You know, we're at below zero. Cows are hungry. They could almost barely not care about quality, and it's about quantity. So, that's what we're doing. We're making some insurance hay here. Shit. Two things at once, can't do it. So yeah, this is nice. This is uh, this is gonna sit the rest of the day today. It's gonna sit all day tomorrow. Um, it is very thick in some spots here. I'm gonna rotary rake this, hopefully in a perfect world by about 11 a.m., maybe noonish on Saturday. And I'm gonna round bale it Saturday afternoon. Like I said, I'm going to base this on about 10 or 11 acres. This is a beautiful farmstead back here. It, it really, really is. Some nice rolling hills. There's some uh, what's called mud lakes uh, north of the farm, which is, they're very nice. And, uh, you know, there's also some other property here for some possible future endeavors. Um, number one, 
there's a property up on the hill there towards that tree line that is available uh, I don't believe I would cut the hay off of it if I ever ventured in wanting that or wanting to operate it excuse me it would be tilled under immediately and uh, something be put in there with a, a new seating grassy alfalfa mix there's also, if I really had to think about the future here, um, they've got a lot of property here. There's also uh, a lot of acreage to the north of this farm. In particular, one piece of property that's over 50 acres of pure tillable land. Now for some of you as you might be smirking right now, folks where I'm from, finding a 40 acre chunk pure tillable, you're gonna have to go long ways to find something like that. I know you boys out west are laughing right now, but you know, different territories. I gotta admit, going into a new piece of ground that you're not used to working up somebody else's property is very, very tricky. Uh, it scares the death out of you. It does me anyway. Uh, as far as any tricks of the trade out in the field, any maybe some old fences, uh, fence lines, posts, rocks, whatever. Um, but I tell you what, this turned out to be pretty darn good, really good. I'm, uh, I'm very happy with this little split decision here. Um, like I said, the quantities, the quality is not all here, but the quantity is. And you know what? I need to take that back. There's some good quality hay here as well. Some nice grass. Some of these lower spots where it started turning into a, I'm going to call it a marshy area. Uh, the cows are going to be a little ticked off about that stuff right there. But, you know, take a little of the good with the bad. And uh, it's just, I don't know. I guess I'm thinking about uh, about the future here. This is property no more than about a mile and a half from the farm, just down the road. Um, now this is gonna be all dead land right here. That's, that's marshy land, very wet. You can tell that hasn't been touched for a long time. That's pure grazing right there. Which who knows, might be a small grazing operation down here too. But uh, I wanna say that's probably a 20 acre chunk up there that goes to the uh, south border and um, yeah yeah I started thinking about it this morning and I was basically well why not I have the time better off doing this than going after that real premature hay that I was gonna go cut which uh, I already did yesterday I cut that stuff that 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 should have waited another week week and a half but uh, doesn't matter it's cut now it's gonna be nice good horse hay this is pure cattle hay and uh, yeah all right other than that I've mumbled on enough here um, there is three new animals at the farm and I'll be doing a video of that here sooner than later the flies are bad today and we're also uh, stay tuned to a, uh, a corn update video which has come leaps and bounds it's unbelievable and you're not going to guess this, but the sorghum, some places it's already over a foot. Can you believe that? Folks, we're going to talk to you sooner and later. I hope you're having a good day.